So, hello, I am Freighter Ophidrion, and I am showing you another set of the day, but I busted out different cards. Well, they're the same cards, they're just larger. Because I posit that the knowledge comes first, meaning everyone who has a card like that has the same card. Because it is within our mind, and there is one mind. I know, I'm a weirdo. But anyway, we got... Six minor arcanas today. There's some pain in the asses, but there's always hope. And just because you have to work hard for something does not mean that you're not going to get it. Reading from Paul Foster Case's book, The Tarot, A Key to the Wisdom of the Ages. The Four of Wands, because of Venus and Aries, is known in this book as per Perfected Work. I, I, I want to get a companion book that goes into more detail, the Minor Arcana. I have very short descriptions of them here. Who is Venus? She is the subconscious. She, her Hebrew letter means womb or, do or door is where the energy comes uh, through. So that's a cool placement to have the emperor because he is sight. He decides who comes through the door. Perhaps that is why it is perfected work. The five of the pentacles. Because of Mercury being in Taurus. That is concordance, affinity, adaptation. Now, it has a little note here that says that in weights symbolism, it shows that concord and harmony are necessarily interior. The unfortunates out in the snow are the profane, those who have not grasped the inner light. Okay. So if you have the light within you shining, that energy should probably be coming through your Taurus energy. Who is Taurus? Triumphant and eternal intelligence. Nail or hook, he brings things together. Who is the magician? He is intelligence of transparency. He is the house builder. He brings the idea into the world. Excellent placement. The more knowledgeable architect will build a better house. Yeah, the sun is actually right in the middle. I couldn't decide which one. I just went with that one. I should probably have double-checked which direction he was headed in. But on the little graphic chart I have, which was not specific, it was right on the line. So this is either late or going to happen soon. Ten of swords. Oof. Ruin, pain, desolation. Sudden misfortune, not a card of sudden... What? Not a card of sudden death. In spiritual matters, end of delusion. Ah, alright. So, how do we keep it working? Well, I had a bit of an idea one day. The nature of battle, as it were. Or, one would say, uh, non-harmonious interactions. You have to keep it on your terms. What are you good at? Nine of the swords. 
That is Mars in Gemini. Worry, suffering, despair, misery, loss. Ah, well, no one likes the Tower Guard for a couple of reasons. I shouldn't say no one. He gets a bad rap. I think it's cool. Anyway. Now, these two images are coming through your disposing intelligence. It has to do with smelling, but the letter itself also means sword, so that which can distinguish. You must tell the difference between tools and obstacles. Active or exciting intelligence, speech, and collecting intelligence. I don't have any cool insights for that. Good thing we have other channels besides my amateurness. In Libra, we have Jupiter retrograding. Now, he has a pair of opposites it's wealth and poverty. You can explain a couple things. Depending on how you want to look at that, it is rewarding intelligence. Intelligence of these who seek. He is the grasping hand. And this is all within faithful intelligence. It means to teach. So perhaps this is not necessarily a time to be teaching, but to be learning. But learning from what? He gives us the Four of Swords. Rest from strife, relief from anxiety, quietness. Rest, rest after illness, not a card of death. Cool he is. Now, Saturn is in retrograde in Sagittarius. As you can see, I've not completed my note-taking with this one either. Sagittarius is intelligence of probation or trial, tentative intelligence. So the intelligence of, I would call that, uh, not procedure per se. Oh, I can't think of the word, never mind, it's not the word. Gives us the ten of wands, it's going to be there a while still. Oppression, burden of a regulated power. We must, we must all learn our strength. This is so. Uh, restrained from what? I actually really like this combination here. We have the card that corresponds to the moon, and then we have the card that is called the moon. Corporeal intelligence, which corresponds to sleep. Which is weird. It's, you don't. You have sleep paralysis as an evolutionary necessity. That's very weird. So contemplation of your reality is not necessarily being involved in your reality, is it? Can you tell the difference between being and becoming? Is there a difference? Perhaps not to the high priestess, for she is uniting intelligence. And the hangman is suspended mind or reflected mind. Mm -hmm. So as we unite with our subconscious, let us be sure to not walk into something we do not know how to walk out of. Ronin was a good movie. Alright. Everyone, enjoy your coffee.